ode to the memory of Amin from the other Malayan and friends. You know, yep, oops, sorry. <laughs> it's correct, my book title. Are we going to do that again? Oh, no. Are, are you just going to run that? All right, okay. <laughs> mm. Ode to the memory of Amin. Amin, she dead. Our nation's call is sunk. Our childhood friend, our favorite sister, our kindest matriarch swinging from trunk to trunk. Oh, how I already miss her. She, the spitting image of all our dads. She, the sweetheart who stole every first kiss, whose thick lips pleasured with quiver and curl. Was hers the face that launched a thousand ads and left Prince Phil and Michael white with bleeds? Was there a hairier Singapore girl? How from Sumatra's wild jungles she came to our isles, shackled and unfree from birth. She, but not her vile captors, was too tamed, and when enforcers saved her, sought to earth her to Mandai, her boobs jiggle with glee. Amen. Our, our entertainer from a raid, worked hard from a day's comb of bananas. She learned much from Allah Gapasami, and with Bernard Harrison unafraid to play Tarzan, the zoo became famous. So it was that she, our foreign talent, grew into our choice first lady. She, our illegal immigrant, found employment with the state, though, retained, though, though detained to her last hour. Arming our rare, durian loving Amo, our ambassador who was not travel fit, as mum, she failed to stop at two or three. Worse, let her kids run wild, swing to and flow. As grand monkey mentor, she had her meet the people breakfast regularly. Oh, who recalls her mates or her children, Sin Sin, who migrated to Australia? Midan, Hong Pao, Sayang, Satria even. Who warms to that pretender, Inuka? Under cool daylight, when she slipped away, it was as though she just got on a bus. Then the news broke. The days 40 sold out. A people's hope fell into disarray. All our best planning had not equipped us for what life with our arming was about. Sad for 